our enthusiastic uh, colleagues is uh, Jean-Claude Gamberto, who is yes. uh, a hand and plastic surgeon uh, in, uh, in France. Uh, unfortunately, he's busy with grandchildren today, or he would be with us uh, taking part in this conversation. But we've, we've looked at many of his videos of fibers as they move within the body, and yeah. they all glisten beautifully, almost like icicles. And, yeah. and one just has an, in, an inherent sense that the, these fibers are all coated in water. Have you, have you had an opportunity to study any of these phenomena? Okay, uh, in answer to your question, uh, we, we haven't studied that uh, directly. You know, I, I, I only wish um, um, in, in Seattle, the days, um, the days have 24 hours. I'm not sure where at other places. And there's just, there's only so much that we can do, you know, with limited resources, limited space and whatever. And it, we would like to study all of these, but um, we, we simply are, are, are unable. And of course, of course, uh, uh, the fascia, the glistening character of the fascia is suggestive that something crystalline uh, or liquid crystalline exists on the on the surface of the fibers and uh, that's what easy water is exactly um it's a liquid liquid crystal so um you know and i've seen jean-claude's uh video a couple of a couple of them and and it struck me also and um you can also see little droplets of water moving moving along and i i you know i suspect the principles are the same as the kinds of principles that are driving flow through those tubes that we we find um so yeah a lot of a lot of similarity there uh, and I, I i wish we we did have the capacity to to study that then maybe in the future we will <laughs>